Back at it here as Jimmy D'Angelo will come in and take on Joe Fody. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the cage, Joe Fody. Coming to the cage, it is Joe Fody. Now, Joe told me that he is wanting to play spoiler tonight to Jimmy D'Angelo. He told me that, you know what? I'm here just to make a statement and show him that I don't need any of this and I'm gonna take this kid out. I don't care what kind of boxing the fireman has. I don't care who his wife is. He says, tonight's my night. That is confidence, buddy. And his opponent, Jimmy D'Angelo. Making his way to the cage, it is Jimmy D'Angelo. This firefighter is all about the action. Found the world of combat sports from Guns and Hoses, a great organization. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Jimmy D'Angelo, 32, 5'9", 142 pounds. Joe Fody, 30 years old, 5'6", 132.4 pounds. Yep. Jimmy D'Angelo definitely has the height and reach advantage. Also, in the boxing world, he was a boxer a long time before he ever stepped into the mixed martial arts world. Yeah, I mean, coming in with experience, size, strength, power, that's going to be an uphill battle for Joe Fody. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is set for three rounds in the Shamrock Fighting Championships featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the Metro PCS blue corner, a mixed martial artist that stands five feet six inches tall. He weighed in officially at 132.4 pounds. Fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Joe Fody. Across the cage, his opponent, fighting tonight out of the Metro PCS red corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet nine inches tall. He weighed in at an even 142 pounds. Fighting out of St. Peter's, Missouri, Jimmy D'Angelo. Referee Dwayne Bess has the call for this contest. Jimmy D'Angelo in the fire engine red and Joe Fody in the blue. Quick touch of the gloves. Very unorthodox here out of Fody. Yeah, a lot of movement, a lot of herky jerkiness. But winds up on a big shot, but he loses balance and winds up on his back. Not where Fody wants to be, gives up his back, hooks in, coming here, already under the chin, right in front of us. Man, that's deep. That got tight and deep quick. Just pounces on him and finishes with that rear naked. The, the boxing fireman finishing it with the rear naked. Very quickly taking it all down there, but let's take a look at that one on instant replay here, if we can, brought to you by Mattingly Lumber. Jimmy D'Angelo unleashing the hands. A slip, though. They're out of Joe Fody. Basically sealed his fate at that point in time. Yeah, because once, once he slipped and hit the mat, D'Angelo engaged, slid right into position, and then just transitioned to that rear naked beautifully. Good finish, let's send it up to the cage to Joe Parisi to give us our results. Ladies and gentlemen, at 23 seconds into the very first round, this one comes to a close. Your winner by submission, out of the red corner, Jimmy D'Angelo! A big win here for Jimmy D'Angelo, finishing very, very quickly via rear naked choke. More action to come as coming up next here at Shamrock FC 305, we have another kickboxing bout as Dominic Boyd takes on Nick Williard.